Hello there everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher, da, teacher Daryl Del Mundo. And today, I will teach you and show you how to add material such as quizzes and assignment in your Schoology dashboard. So, let us add material. And then, there's a lot of things that you can do here. You can add folder, add assignment, add test or quiz. This time, we will add an assignment. So, you need to go first in your dashboard and do not forget the access code here. So, you copy the access code so that this is the access code for your students to get into your class or your course. Okay? So, copy this one, highlight, control C and control V. Two, if you have the group in Facebook or Messenger, you can send it there. So, for an instance, I have my grade 7 over here so let's search for grade 7 so that all the members in my grade 7 classes which is or which are included to this course or session if they get the access code or if they click the access code and use the access code they will get into my class okay so let's have for an instance grade 7 where are you? Where are you? I can't find. Okay, let's choose this one. Grade 7Q. So, we just send the access code to your student. So, by the way, they can only access it if they do have now the Schoology account for a student. So, maybe soon enough, I will teach you how to make your Schoology account for the students. Okay? So, for the meantime, this is also for teachers only. Okay, so we can go back to add materials and then add assignment. Then after that, let's wait for a while. Okay, because this one, it will bring us to the dashboard of assignment window. Okay, this one. This is now an assignment window. You can create your assignment over here. You type the name or the title of your assignment. For an instance, cytology. All about sales, something like that. Okay. So description, this is where you're going to type the questions for your assignment or instructions for your assignment or whatever you wanted to put into your assignment. Okay, for your students. So, in my case, I will put some uh, questions and uh, different instructions for this kind of assignment. Okay, number one, what are cells? Where to enumerate all the organelles of the cell. Then, define each organelle. And last, draw an example of a cell. Okay, so these are the content of my assignment. And right after that, due date, this is very important because later on, as your students answering your assignment, you will see at the right corner who are the ones who are proactive, who are who pass their assignments on time, or who are late. Okay, so if they pass this on the due date, okay, they will get the score. But if they, you know, kind of late, a little bit of subtraction something like that so category let's do it homework so no grading period meaning to say okay it is not like a unit test or it's it is not a final exam for qu or quarterly exam something like that then you can use a scale numeric or alphabet something like that and then align and align you can choose learning objectives here Okay, so you can choose an objectives here. So it's personal. Then selected. Then if you do not want to add some uh, align or objectives for this kind of assignment, it's okay. Then there, these are the options. You can also assign it and then you can lock your assignment. Submission enabled or you can disable it. And then you have here publish students and then copy to courses so on and so forth there are a lot of options there you, you can you know explore 
and then if you are done with it just review your assignments something like that and then if you are done just click the button create okay, wait for a minute then it will be posted on your dashboard not just on your dashboard but also in your students dashboard or class dashboard so there you go i hope you learned something today bye